mighty long week, but we thank praise the Lord. Thank you, praise the Lord, for hearing the um, young sister testify about the body being exhausted. But I do thank you, praise the Lord, for her having a mind. That's great encouragement, Sister Hannah. I do have a mind to seek the Lord on your own. Pray that Lord will continue to bless you that you will be encouraged. I just thank you, praise the Lord, for being a mighty um, long week with me being um, different bosses and whatever. We thank you, praise the Lord. That God, you know, give me a mind to want to do the right thing. That we thank praise the Lord for our family. The things that we got going on, thank God. For the Lord is a healer. The Lord is a keeper. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm trusting you right now, Lord Jesus. I'm trusting you, Lord. I'm looking to you, Lord Jesus. Let like the sacred praise the Lord. Father, the Lord, been with us, uh, Father, Son, oldest daughter, and Sabrina. We've been up early, very early this morning. Thank you, praise the Lord. Father, the Lord, been with Sabrina today. You know, I thank you, praise the Lord, how the Lord is yet with the Lord is the keeper. Because I know our life is in his hands. I thank you, praise the Lord, for how the Lord is strengthening her up this present time. That the Lord will continue to keep her encouraged. Thank you, praise the Lord, for my grandchildren that they'll continue to be encouraged. I thank praise the Lord, and I will give testimonies to the Lord. I don't know that the Lord know the heart is I thank you, praise the Lord. I can say I'm glad I'm in this way. Thank you, praise the Lord, for this great promise. I thank you, praise the Lord. For having a safe companion. Thank God for him. Being my pastor also, I thank the praise the Lord. It'll be hard sometimes because it's due, you know, want to keep, you know, giving honor to who honors do. And I do thank the praise the Lord. I always will respect the man of God, even when I was a young girl. Things I didn't understand, but I, you know, I hold on to that. I thank the praise the Lord for being over 45 years living for the Lord. Saints of God, continue to pray. And I pray for you that you will continue to lift the Lord up. That will not be a Hinder, but be a great help. I do thank you, praise the Lord, for this house of worship that been here many years ago before I was even born. I thank you, praise the Lord, every mind. I'm going to continue do the things that are right and please in the sight of the Lord. Tonight, I do thank you, praise the Lord, for my word of baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thanks to God. Pray for me, Martin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very 
pray for me and pray for my children because So y'all pray for me. Yes. Really need you pray. Yes. Pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Turn me on their mind. Took the time and pray for me. 
our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for allowing us this chance and this an opportunity to be here to worship, praise, honor the Lord for his goodness towards us. We thank God for each and every one that is here present tonight, and we thank God certainly for his presence. Because the Lord's presence is here. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for Elton and his his wife and his yes. children. Amen. Amen. All of the brothers, sisters, and all everyone that's here. We're glad. Thank God for my sister Alicia. Yeah. But you keep praising along like that. Something gonna keep happening. That's right. Something gonna keep happening. Y'all gonna get a good thing. Something that they went to. 
Go ahead. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, what happened? They were all with one accord yeah. in one place. But remember what Jesus told them. Y'all know what Jesus told them to do? He told them to go back to Jerusalem. Didn't he say so? He told them to go back to Jerusalem and wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, you have heard him. Is that right? He told them, before I believe it, the, the, the latter part, where he told them to go back to Jerusalem and to wait for that promise of the Holy Ghost. Is that right? Maybe in the first chapter of it, but we'll continue. Continue. The first chapter of Acts, starting verse 3. All right, let's hear it, Rick. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by men and Paul. He showed himself alive. Jesus showed himself alive after his passion, after many infallible proofs. Infallible proofs. Being seen of them 40 being days. Being seen of them 40 days. And speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Speaking to them about the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Read. And being assembled together with them. What he did. He commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. I'm telling you. He commanded. They couldn't leave Jerusalem. Because God had something waiting for them at Jerusalem. That was going to come and be manifested at Jerusalem. Is that right? Don't you stop seeking the Lord until your soul be filled with the Holy Ghost, yeah. as it were, with them on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. Yeah. Read the book. And then assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. Don't depart from Jerusalem. But wait for the promise of the Father. Wait for what? The promise of the Father. Wait for the promise. Of the Father. Which saith he. What he said. Ye have heard of me. Uh huh. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many. You will be baptized with the Holy Ghost. John truly baptized with water, but you'll be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not many days. He see, he ain't sitting alone. It don't take no long time. It's not many days in. Amen. What he said. When they therefore would come together, when they were therefore come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Uh -huh. And he said unto them, What he said, It is not for you to know the times or seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. It's not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. But what? But you shall receive power. When? After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So you receive power. You receive power to resist things. You receive power over the enemy. Amen. You receive that spiritual power Amen. that comes from God. Amen. Things that you can't seem to uh, give up or shake loose. God, the Spirit of the of the Lord, the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You receive that when you once you receive the Holy Power, Holy Ghost, Amen. Holy Spirit from God. Is that all right? Amen. What is that? When you shall receive power. Yes. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon then you. Then what's going to happen? And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in the, uh, and in all Judea. You're going to be a witness unto me. Amen. Hear what you say? A witness unto me. Amen. You're going to be both in Jerusalem. Amen. You're going to be a witness Amen. unto Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jerusalem. And in Judea. Judea. And Samaria. And Samaria. And to the uttermost parts of the earth. I don't care where you go. Read. And when he had spoken these things. What while happened? While they beheld, he was taken up. He was taken up. He was taken up. So where is Jesus? In heaven. In heaven. He's there looking on us right now. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. Huh? He's, he, he's alive. He's looking on us. Man. Huh? Amen. Look, scripture says, He that cometh to God must believe that He is. When you pray, believe that He is. When you call on Jesus, believe that He is. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. Yes. If any man will open, it's just not opening up. Amen. Glory to God. Is that all right? Amen. Just let Him have, let him have all the insides. Yes. He wants all the insides. The internal. He wants the internal. And when he gets in the internal, it will show external. Thank you, Jesus. What he said. And while they looked, 
And when they, and when they had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. He was they, taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. Uh huh. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, while they looked steadfastly towards you know, you know how it is. You know, I, I kind of I like jets and planes like that, and I like to see them take. Especially when I go to Atlanta, I love to see them come in. I just love that. And I just look at them, and see them take off. And sometimes you just watch a plane. You ever just watch one? Watch one. It's so big and then just go out your sight. Yeah. Well, can you imagine? Jesus standing talking to them and then he was received like that. Yeah. Up in the heaven. Yeah. And, it, and that's why he couldn't help but look. Yeah, right. I mean, if y'all saw me start, if y'all saw me start going up to the seat, y'all like, <laughs> you should be in the church right away. <laughs> he went up. Who went up? You should have been the man you, who you missed something. And you'll always be looking for that ascension. But that's what the Lord did. What he says, Rick. While they look steadfastly. They look steadfastly towards heaven. That's why we as a people, where should we look? Then they say, I look to the hill. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up. Now, you say, it ain't matter you walking around looking up. With your mind and your thoughts. The scriptures say, if thou be risen with Christ, set your affection, your desire on things above. You walk around with your mind on the Lord and your heart on the Lord. You're looking up. Yeah. Well, I think about the sister said she fast and she was in school, fasting and everything, doing a classroom. But her mind was she was she was up there. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And what God did. Carry them through. Amen. That's a beautiful thing. Amen. 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 Sure, she was tempted. I buy you so many things. You want some more? You want this? You want that? Amen. Is that right? But when you get that mind determined, that's like seeking the Holy Ghost. When you say, you know what? I'm going to seek the Lord. I'm going to seek the Lord. You at church, not at church. Well, I'm going to call to you and receive it. I'm just, just make me in your mind. I'm going to seek the Lord. Amen. Lord, keep my mind on you. Amen. Lord, come, he'll come in too. Yes. What he says, Rick. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in a white apparel, uh -huh. which also said, Ye men of Galilee. Ye men of Galilee. Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Why stand ye gazing up in heaven? Why are you going to stand here gazing up into heaven? Amen. What he says. This same Jesus. This same This. Amen. Not another Jesus. Amen. Not another Jesus. Amen. This same Jesus. And with the question I would ask, who was that Jesus? Wasn't he the son yeah. of God? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So that's who's coming back. This same Jesus yeah. who was taken up from you yeah. shall so come yeah. in like manner as you have seen him. Have seen him go up. They say he's coming back with a shout. The voice of our come back with, with clouds. Yeah. Somebody coming. I mean, that's just hard. You know, you, I, mean, I look, I look all the time. I love the elements of what God does, and I see all kind of shapes of, of of the clouds. And you think the Lord is coming back that great day on the clouds? He ain't going to sink down. Coming back with clouds and ten thousand of His saints. Ain't that something to execute judgment? Saints, I'm going to be ready. Yeah. Lord, that's going to be a day you are. We, we've been talking about it a long time. But that day is fast and approaching. Yes, Lord. Keep your faith in God. Yeah. Keep your hope in God. Ask God to help you. Ask God to direct you. Ask the Lord to give you strength. Yeah. And give you what you take to be ready for that great day. Yes. What he says, Rick. 
1 Thessalonians 4 and verse 13. What is that? But I would not have you to be ignorant, brother, Why? concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. But this we say unto you, Why? by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. We which are alive. So what is that telling us? It's going to be some folks alive when Jesus comes back. They're going to see him. I mean that. They're going to see him. You, you, you ain't going to take a picture with yourself on them. Mm -mm. It's it going to be... It gonna be so glorious. I mean, oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, I want to be ready for that. I want to be ready. The Lord, help me to be ready for that day. And I'm walking around. But he's going to come. And he's coming back quick, fast. Is that right? Lord, help us. That's why wherever we are, keep our mind on the Lord. You know, keep your thoughts right. Because he's coming back. And it's going to be people on earth when he comes. Because they are saying they're going to see him as he when he comes back. Yeah. And the day is going to rise. Yeah. All these things got to take place. Read the book. For this we say unto you by what? the word of the Lord, that we which are alive, we which are alive, and remain unto the coming of the Lord, the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. All right. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. The Lord himself shall descend Amen. from heaven. With a shout. With a shout. With the voice of the archangel. And you can't even imagine how that shout sound. Amen. That ain't going to get your attention. Amen. Read. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel. Yes. And with the trump of God. The trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive. Then we which are alive. And remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Isn't that amazing? The, how spontaneously that's going to work. Shout, dead rise, you call up. It ain't going to take like no years for that to happen. So, it ain't like going to be a long, long process. Man. As the lightning shines in the east and goes into the west, so shall the coming of the Son of the Lord, Son of God be. Man. You know, because didn't the Lord say in Revelation, the whole I come quickly and my reward is with me? To pay every man according as his work shall be. Amen. Is that right? So he's coming quickly. So, you know, you, you got to make sure that we are ready wherever we are. He said it like this. Two shall be in the field. The one shall be taken. The other shall be left. Two shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken. The other left. You said, don't even try to go back home and get nothing out of your because you ain't going to have time. Amen. So it's, it's, it's a day in which mm -hmm. the dead going to rise and those that are living right yes. that's here going to be called up. That's right. Amen. Because we, we, we look for the Lord. Yeah. We looking for his presence. Yes. When he comes, we're supposed to be glad. Yeah. Is that right? Are we living right, doing what's right. We ain't got to be running no rocks and following us. Hide. We ain't want to hide from the face of him that sit on the throne. We want to see him in peace. That's why we believe in him. That's why we're praying to him. That's why we're asking him, Lord, give us strength. Give us faith. Give us courage. Give us what you need. we need. You our mediator. You our advocate. Lord, help us. Is that right? All right, let's get back where we were, man. Thank God for the word. Right up. We're going to go and, and I ask the Holy Word. Holy Ghost, let's continue there. Second chapter. Yeah. Second chapter, thanks. 
Verse 1. Well, you know, he went on up. They went back to Jerusalem because they was commanded to go back to Jerusalem Amen. and to wait for what? The promise of the Father. Holy Ghost. Amen. Let me tell all of us something. God promised you that. Amen. He promised you that. He said, Lord, you promised me. You got to go to you promised me that. And you, if, if, if you're a child and, and you promised your child something that you hadn't given to her and they've been doing and they come and they crying and they asking you, you know as a parent you're going to give it to them. Mama, you promised me that. You promised me that strawberry pie. You didn't say if I got three A's, you said if I just got two. You promised it to me. And you know when you when you want, just like you know what we want. Let me tell you what we want. All of us in here, we want eternal life. We all we all want to live eternally with the Lord Jesus. So it's up to us to strive to do as He has told us, so that we can get that reward that He has for us. Because He did tell us, "I go to prepare a place for you." That where I am, there you may be also. So that, that's what we want. Man love life. Man love life. Don't nobody want to die. Is that right? Man love life so he, he don't even want to die from his sin. He don't even want to repent from it. He want to stay in it because he, he enjoy it. If he can just keep living, feeling the same way. Is that right? You imagine feeling like you felt when you was 18? Man, just the, the energy, the, the, the feeling you had. Huh? Is that right? My sons, they need to run. They don't know they'll be up again. If I felt like I was, you're dead already. If I feel like I was, I was 18. Huh? Make a difference, though. Because we love life. We love what God has given us in life. So he has given us a chance now to have eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. We live and strive seeking him, praying to him, talking to him to help us through this wicked world we're living in. And we pray that God will bless the students, the children, everybody when school starts, because you got a lot of a lot of mentally devil, deviled field people. Amen. Deviled field people right. coming to town. In school, from elementary, middle school, and as much as they're doing, people just walking up to people, stabbing them now. So be watchful, sisters, wherever you are. Be watchful. Don't go places that is not safe. Young people, don't go places that is not safe. Be watchful. God said, watch and pray. Yes, he did. Yes. Yes. If you see something that's not right, flee. No people went in there. Now, I ain't going to get no gas in there. I'm going to go somewhere else. See? Walmart. We all love Walmart. Walmart. Things going everywhere. So that's why when the prayer was, lead us not into temptation. But what? Deliver us. Do what, y'all? Deliver us. From what? From evil. Deliver us. Don't you want, we want our children to deliver. We want to be delivered from all evil. Amen. All evil. Even bus drivers, they say. Nope. Down there in Temple. Somebody just got on the you know, We had a class today. Somebody just got on the bus and just stabbed the bus driver. That's why I try, I try to tell people I train and everything. Have the right spirit. And what I mean by that, have the right attitude towards people. Amen. Don't treat people in any kind of way. Amen. If they if they shot 40 cents, they say, all right, all right now. Tomorrow now, make sure you have it. Don't stop no confrontation with people. Because you don't know what's in the mind of these folks. 
You got to get look at people and read them. Is that right? You got to get them. And the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, can help us and take us through what God takes everybody through. That's the time that's coming up. School, in the school, out the school, college, university, elementary, on the job. That's why we want to come in praising for, for him keeping us. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Yes. Praise is coming. What he said there? And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, what happened? There were all with one accord in one place. What happened? And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. See what it did? No, no, that, that's a, would be a beautiful thing. <clears throat> yeah. The Spirit of God come in and fill all the house. See, if God came in and fill all the house, just like he did here, ain't nobody going to be sitting down. He gonna get everybody. He gonna, I mean, he gonna get you. You ain't got no power to resist. <laughs> you ain't got it. It don't matter. That'd be a beautiful thing, wouldn't it? But this is what he did on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. All the house with it. Remember, he told them to go back to Jerusalem and do what? Wait for the promise of the Father. We said to you, read the book. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it did what? And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. When the presence of God come in, let God have his way. Don't worry about nobody beside you, in front of you, around you. Just let the Lord have his way. I don't want to, I don't want to say that because I want my wife to see me dance. Hey, I want God to have his way. Is that right? Body belongs to God. Amen. Let God have his way. Let God have his way. Yes, Lord. Let God have his way. Amen. God want to use you. Mm -hmm. God want to do something with you. Mm -hmm. Everybody in here. Amen. 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 What he said. There appeared unto them cloven tongues. There appeared unto them cloven tongues. Like as a fire. And what it did. And it sat upon each other. And what happened. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Oh, that's, that's going to happen. Amen. Presence of God come, come into place, close them tongue, then they're going to fill them. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. That's why when God gets it in you internally, He's going to work externally. Amen. Something's going to happen externally. Is that right? Amen. What is that? And there were dwelling at Jerusalem. They were dwelling at Jerusalem. Jews, devout men, out of every every nation under heaven. And when this was noise abroad, the multitudes came together and were confounded. Why? Because that every man heard them speak in his own language. It is amazing how God, remember God told them, command them not to leave Jerusalem. It was something he was going to do there at Jerusalem. And he did it on the day of Pentecost. On that feast day at Pentecost, where a whole lot of folks was gathered, Amen. things, great things from heaven was happening. What they said, and they were all amazed and marvelled, saying one to another, "What they said? Behold, are not all these, are not all these which speak Galilee? Women, all these, all these here, Amen. all these here, yeah, it's getting like." All these, I'm going to just use this term. All these here, colorful, black folk. How are, you, how are you we? Aren't these all one nation of people? How are we here? Every man, how are here we? Every man in our in, own tongue. In our own tongue. Wherein we were born. I hear all these different people there, but they, they heard them in their own tongue. Magnifying, glorifying God. Not speaking their language, but the language of others. See, when, whenever a person is speaking tongue, they speak in, they speak in a tongue. Whose tongue? We don't know. It's from God, though. What is that? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites. God, all of them. And the, the dwellers at, at Massapota. Read the book. And Judea, and Cappadocia. Yes. In Pontus, and Asia. Asia. 
Persia, oh. and Pamphylia in Egypt, and in and in the parts of Libya, and Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes Cretes and Arabians. Arabian. We do hear them speak in our own tongue the wonderful works of God. Ain't that something? See what they said? We do hear them speak in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. They hear them. They say you understood. Is that right? And they thought they were all what? Galileans. How we? All are not all these Galileans? I'm like basically, I'm not all these wonder race of people. Amen, and we hear all these people. It was the wonderful works of God. Amen. It was God manifesting Himself in those people through a lot of others that they could see and be a witness. Wonderful works, wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed. And, uh, and what? And we're in doubt, saying one to another. What? What mean it? What is it? Others mark and said, "What these men are full of new wine." They thought they were drunk. They thought they were just carrying on. Or whatever. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, "What he said? Ye men of Judah, and of all, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, yes, and hearken to my words." This one I'm going to take. But these are not drunken as ye suppose. These are not drunk. As they are not drunken as you. See, they, see, see what kind of mindset people think? They think something's wrong with them. They must have acted a certain way when they're thinking they're drunk. These ain't drunk like you suppose they are. Seeing it is but the third hour of the day. Still early. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days. What's going to God? What's going to happen? I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. So then, that was the spirit of God upon them, wasn't it? Yes, sir. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Amen. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. If God did it then, yes, he'll do it now. Yes. The promise is still good. He want to pour his spirit out of my Amen. What is that? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Yes. And I will show wonders in heaven above, mm -hmm. and signs in the earth beneath, mm -hmm. blood and fire and vapors of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and noble day of the Lord come. Yes, Lord. And, I will, and, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Say what now? And it shall come to pass. All right. That whosoever what verse shall Verse 21. All right. And it shall come let, to let, pass. Let's let, let all read it together. You got your Bible, Lord? Somebody ain't got your Bible. But you get to fall out the rig. Read okay. it. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. That whosoever shall that whosoever shall call on the name, call of, the Lord, on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever? Whosoever. Whosoever. Shall call upon the name of the Lord. Shall call upon the name of the Lord. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Whosoever. Whosoever. That's heavy. Amen. That's saying a lot right there. Yes, whosoever. Yes, whosoever. Amen. Shall call on the name. Glory to God. Because you got to say, 
Whose river, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Amen. shall be saved. Amen. Neither is there salvation in any other, but there is none other name given under the heavens whereby we must be saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Whosoever will be saved. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We know his name, don't we? Amen. Anybody know Lord's name? All right. So may God bless you. May God keep you. Remember to seek the Lord. Call him by his name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let us stand. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us this another chance to be in your presence. Yes, Lord. Ever, Lord, go with us. Jesus. Be with us. Guide us and lead us according to your will. Lord God, be with the children and everyone as school starts real soon. Protect them. Be that fence around them. Lord God, and go with them wherever they are. Lord, look on the sick that's among Jesus, us. Jesus. Those that are ill in their bodies. Lord, hallelujah. Glory. Jesus. Lord God, we're looking to you. Jesus. We're asking you, Lord God, Jesus. that you will strengthen, Jesus. touch, and heal. Yes. Lord God, for you are able. There is power. Yes. There is healing. Yes. There is salvation. Jesus. There is deliverance. In the name of me. Hallelujah. In the name. Oh God, let your name. For your name to faith. In your name. Can do great things among us. Lord, be with us all. Keep us, Lord Jesus. Guide us, Lord Jesus. Help us that we will call on. In the midnight hour. In the wee hour of the morning. Lord, we are call on. Let us say to 